Now more to local news. The Williamson County Historical Society recently reopened its doors to the public after closing down to keep members safe during the pandemic. That's right, but you know, they made good use of their time. They worked to put together several new exhibits for visitors to enjoy. We're learning more about them from Brooke Slyer. Brooke. Yeah, good morning, Evie and Dave. Well, I've escaped my law-breaking past. I've now made my way to the pharmacy, and I'm joined again by Sam. So this is an updated exhibit. We are again at the pharmacy. Go ahead and tell me all about it. Okay, well, you're standing in a room that we just uh, renovated over, over the COVID pandemic. It took us about three or four months to redo it. And what we have is a recreation of a general store that would have been typical that you would have found in earlier days. Uh, the drugstore that we're standing in was an operational drugstore in Stoneford, Illinois, and it was operated by the Lewis family. Uh, Oliver Lewis opened it in 1874, and the drugstore was operational all the way up to the 1960s. Uh, even though this came into existence in 1874, a lot of the shelving and uh, counters that you see actually predate that because he bought an existing pharmacy. So it's actually a little, some other stuff's a little older than that. Oh, well, that's what I was just getting ready to ask you, that some of this stuff is actually from 1874, but you're saying earlier than that. That's so interesting. And you were telling me that, um, you know, we were talking about general stores in this area in Marion. They had quite a few when the town was uh, booming. Oh, absolutely. Uh, back in the 1920s, uh, there was a lot of coal money pouring in the towns. You had a lot of professionals living in town. A lot of uh, immigrants immigrated here from all over the world to work the coal fields. So during this population boom, in 1924, we actually had 94 mom-and-pop grocery stores in this town. So this is kind of a reflection of that. Half the store is mom-and-pop and half of it's an old country drug store. But it all, in general, forms the general store that you'd see in the old days where everything's covered from wall to wall, ceiling to floor. And there's a lot of uh, potions and elixirs here behind me. I guess you could call them for fun. Are there any that pop out to you when you guys were putting this together that you've never heard of? Or you're like, oh, I can't believe people were actually taking that to get better. Right, right, right. A lot of this stuff's actually kind of a little scary. Uh, I think it was about 1904, 1906, the equivalent of the Food and Drug Administration passed a law that's saying that you can't just put anything mm -hmm. you want in medicine. But prior to that, you would have cocaine, morphine, uh, alcohol, just a little bit of everything. So it's kind of interesting to go through and look at some of these labels and see what's in here. Surprisingly, some of the brands that you see from the early 20th century are still in existence today. So I find that kind of amazing that a lot of these companies have held on that long. Well, also interesting is the uh, more of the general store on the other side of this exhibit. We'll be showing that later on in the show. But for now, Nick, I'm going to go ahead and toss it over to you with a look at today's weather.